Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Against the Hive campaign where I'm picking up an unbeatable opponent, uh, the ever non-ending swarm of chrysalids that have overrun the world. Today it's Operation Dawn Phase where Quite frankly, we're taking the least of the three bad options and it's hopefully going to be an engineer uh, after we recovered an item from an advent train. Now, we bring the B team, but um, Wrong Planet uh, is ready from the A team and will support. So we got, quote unquote, the best weapons available for us. I uh, got the bolt caster with us as well. Uh, not good against the Lost in general, but I uh, like the oomph that this weapon brings to the table. And together with even better uh, ammunition, uh, aim uh, supporting ammunition, we might be able to actually pull this one off quite nicely. Sonar would, uh, is, I think, rocking yeah, close to 100 aim, which is great. Uh, so we got this one. Uh, definitely going for us. I wonder This might also be a mission where we're running into Where we're running into something that needs to be frozen Like an alien ruler that and the freezing together is good got the axis as well and uh, And lightning uh, shot from wrong planet so we would have enough damage that we can deal got a mimic beacon got a ultrasonic lure uh, because losts are going to be present so might as well use that item in order to uh, force the losts to fight against advent and vice versa and yeah that's really all i can do at this point wish me luck this is going to be brutal all right <clears throat> we just landed let's take a good look here hmm Nine turns to get all the way over here. Oh my gosh, look at that graphic. That is custom made as well. I totally like the texture. A bit off here with the um, chest, but the rest is fantastic. You gotta give it to those modders. I mean, that is actually looking fabulous. And then over here, Water preservation uh, station. That looks fine as well. Understood. Moving out. Uh, super heavy turret. Don't like that. On the other hand. I wonder, can we get that super heavy turret fail safe into hacking it? Ah, close but not quiet. We should not be revealed. No negative effect as well. So that wasn't too bad, was it? That's affirmative. Wrong planet moves over there. Noxus moves up. Confirmed. Overwatch, Overwatch, we're bracing. Overwatch. And Overwatch. Okay, well, super heavy turret is still a problem. But we need to speed this up a bit. So let's <clears throat> open that. Was there another pack on the other side? 
I think I saw a pack over here. Yeah, let's just move in and trigger whom we have to trigger. Okay, well, I got some good uh, uh, news. We uh, we do have the uh, beautiful lures, uh, which will help us in this predicament. Moving up. And then, take all of them with a the lure. <coughs> Fantastic. Problem solved. Do we have shredding? Yes, we do. Sixty-six percent. Interesting. Well, I tell you what. Comet protocol. Deals half of his hit points in damage, and uh, this should shred him, of course only if we're hitting. Ten, that's not good enough. Uh, let's try to get him down. There we go, nice little hit. I don't even know for how much we crit, but it looked like a lot. Sane moves up. Got a couple of shield bearer options here. Hmm. move to here the problem that I'm seeing is we might trigger another pack and I really don't want that what I do want is a big fat crit and we get that it was indeed a pretty big fat crit Could stun the sector at fifty percent chance, but there is a good chance for crit. Unfortunately, four armor doesn't really make it appealing. Let's get that sector together with melee vulnerability. We might be able to let the loss kill him. Alright, Sona moves up. Archon blazing pinions, right? Yeah. Complete surprise. No one would have ever guessed that that is going to happen. Yeah, it's good that we softened up the sector. Yeah, and the Gatling Sergeant, I think, is kind of a skirmisher variant. More loss. But I'm not afraid of them. Quite the opposite. Yeah, I was hoping we would be able to get the sector. Uh, 
Unfortunately, we're not. Let's hit him. Media vulnerability. Strikes well. Back into cover. And that will break mind control. Fabulous. Now there is still the Archon, which we need to deal with. Reload first. Shoot Archon second. Good damage, but unfortunately a dodge. We might trigger more loss with that, but it's okay. Because uh, they will focus on Advent. And he wanted to shield, uh, shred the shield bearer. Come on, stun him. Good damage. I like that. Same moves up. And we're continuing to focus on the Archon. Before repositioning. All right, he's almost down. Of course, the last one misses. Mm. Okay, not sure what the Archon wanted to do here. Edwin is now ignoring the loss for once. And even more losses are coming. Okay, cool, well. This is going to be fun, specifically if we use our second, um, our second charge of the ultrasonic lure. All right, reloading. Let's get this guy down. Like I said, stupid Archon. Hmm. 
these guys can deal uh, with all of the loss, so I personally couldn't care less. But the M moves far out of the way. And next up, I think I would like to push on a bit further. Question is, what's a good, what is a good plan? I would absolutely love to take uh, this position here, but we can't. In here, this here, unfortunately doesn't count as cover, so we would be treated as if we had no cover whatsoever. Stepping I think on. this is m moderately safe. Okay. Taking the high ground here. And since we got the lure, I need to position ourselves very aggressively. Okay. Losts are focusing on these two guys, and I will leave them very much to their own devices. There's one more left over. Let's do this. The DM moves over here in the hopes of uh, receiving some sweet, sweet emergency aid. You're gonna be fine. We're taking high ground full cover. I think I saw another pack back here. BDM moves up as well. Hmm. Yeah, we're moving up with Noxus. I'm pretty sure I've seen something behind here. <clears throat> if we move up we will trigger everyone. Really can't do that. Instead, we're taking safe high ground over here.
And I'm rushing in because I want to destroy the super heavy turret. Oh, look at that. Chameleons. Who would have guessed? This will be interesting to see how the Losts are dealing with chameleons. lost I think I've hit a couple of the enemies with a lure oh yeah oh yeah Very good. <laughs> Losts are helping us a lot in this mission. Good, that uh, might open the train even to hack from afar. It does. Let's take the chest. Yeah, we're finishing, at least finishing the mission here. Get some supplies on top of it, which is good. Unfortunately, the last pack will now start to trigger and come in. Uh, I think we're going to Mimic Beak in this turn. Starting to shred this guy. Starting to hit the chrysalid um, chameleon. <clears throat> There's a good chance that we can crit and that would kill it. Free reload. Bit of a defensive mine. 
And listen, we know that one of them is there and another one is there, so this will be two stupid uh, chameleons in one go. Frozen and frozen, you can see exactly where they are located. Not sure if this will hit. Nah, it won't. I was hoping it would, but it unfortunately does not. Overwatch. And a big fat blinding protocol, just for good measure. All right, end of turn. That will just make it so much worse. More loss will uh, spawn. More of them coming in. Okay, the Hive has officially started to join us. Well, that is a problem. These guys are now triggered. I think at least they are shooting back. Good. Let's hope that some of those lost swarms will rush over and keep the pack busy. Yeah, it seems like that some of them are moving over. And with United Forces, they are just running them down. Okay, so another chrysalid. <laughs> that shield bearer is still alive. Unbelievable, right? Good, we're keeping Sane fully topped off. Continue to hit the chrysalids. I really don't want to reposition. Very nice, fantastic shot. Ok, 
Okay, we know there's a frozen one here. We also know there's an entire pack, so it's really difficult to make the first move here. Given that the DM can parry if he's being attacked, I will decide uh, to take him into the front line and actually get Noxus further back. I'll save that Mimic Beacon. I'll save Comet Protocol as well because I know we do have... Uh, we do have a couple of mechanical units against us, so... Let's instead Gate 8 Protocol. Seems like we're making a stand up here. Sona moves back. And we're end uh, ending the turn. Alright, a lot of the chameleons are now going to come out. And since it's such a target rich environment. They might just go for the loss. At the same time, this pack here is busy. And as long as the losses are running up and are actually going to fight them, they will stay there and everything's good. Wow, what a massive mission. I also need to make sure that the losses are not getting completely out of order. If we have too many of them, we might end up with the opposite problem. Because after they are done with Advent, they will go for us. And although they individually don't deal a lot of damage, you can see once they surround you, you're pretty much effed. Good, only chrysalids left over. Well, not entirely. So we can't stand in the open, unfortunately. Yeah, look at that. That chameleon was coming for us. Speaking about which, that chameleon also was coming for us. Let's give it some fire. Let it burn. Okay, some more aid protocol this time for our friends over here. Gotta give uh, some love uh, to the others.
Good. We're moving up. Almost got that thing down. Move up, move back. And sonar might do the finishing touches here. Very solid hit. Appreciate that. Reload into a kill. Just thinning out the pack a little bit uh, into real overwatch. That Advent uh, pack here is holding their position tight. I don't want to have nothing to do with uh, the stupid loss. And they have quite a bit of firepower as well. I'm pretty sure <laughs> there's a chameleon here. Almost certain. Let's see. Oh, surprise, surprise! I know, complete shocker, right? He couldn't go anywhere, so this should reveal it again. And now it's effed because it can't move any further. Down to five hit points. I know what we're going to do. Reload into actual kill. Two more chameleons left over. Into I think we're taking that dasher here. And there is a good overwatch. Okay, cool. Position confirmed. Preventing the loss from moving up to us, just in case they ever wanted to. Ready to engage. Zone suppression is not yet ready. Good. End of turn. Looks like they called in some prey. Oh, come on. Really? What kind of a backup is that? Oh, come on. That's 50 hit points worth of just random backup. Wow. Not even sure how that worked. Well, 
Well, these guys still have a super solid base here. But the loss will keep on coming. <laughs> First hits, very good. All right, let's shred these guys. Sona moves up, and this could be a kill. kill Lovely. Zane moves up here, getting that small chrysalid because he's really standing in the way. Moves a little bit back. BDM moves up here with run and gun. Uh, Non-movement action after killing with a melee attack. Listen, we don't know where the other guy went. But one thing that we could do is do discover it. Good, that shreds it nicely. And we're just taking normal hits here. Good. Oh, the <laughs> VDM actually had an action. Never mind. Run gun wasted. Well, that was a mistake, you just hit your own people. Wow, the losses are relentless in this mission. They are an actual faction. If you take the headshot thing away, their power in numbers becomes a real threat. Lancer splits off of the team now will become a bit of a problem. Okay, one of the losses is now burning. That's a problem for the loss on the other hand because Fire is the one thing that they are incredibly weak against. And if that spreads, losses are going to be out of business very, very soon. Here I come. 
Okay, heavy lancer there. Starting our little gimmick. Even though he dodges, he can't dodge forever. move over next turn we can shoot from a much better spot reload and let's maybe kill the sun lancer yep there we go That chameleon is just trying its very hardest to stay alive in, in the middle of all of uh, the loss. There's one more chameleon that is not tagged. Wow, that was a phenomenal hit, but the problem is that'll trigger more loss. So no matter what they do, they're effed. If the car explodes, which it likely will soon, they will be in trouble. Oh my god. Down to 1 HP. <laughs> I must say I'm enjoying myself way too much uh, with the lure. Look at what a game winning item it was. Sona moves up. Seems doable. And Rome Planet takes a proper position here. No, the heavy mech is targeted. We don't want that. I would like to kill this guy. Not quite. Close, but not quite. Yeah, the DM reloads. Um, Comet protocol. I could try to hack it. Just for the f sake of it. Should have maybe done that beforehand. But it doesn't matter. Even, even if we hack it, uh, it needs to die anyway, so either way we're fine. Yeah, it's okay. Well, it's an extra mimic beacon. Good. We played this overall so good just from our uh, base of uh, operation back there. Plus the lure. Really, really, really good. Well, there you go. I told you it's a mistake to use explosives. But no, you didn't want to listen. Oh yeah, that one stasis will now completely change the, uh, the needle. Oh no, he took away the hack. Clever. Clever. This guy just self sacrificed instead. Hostile, neutralized. 
All right, so there's one more chameleon somewhere. There's one more chameleon somewhere. The problem is the lost now are no longer bound to them. And they are instead coming for us. Still a couple of them will go for the priest, but the majority, without a shadow of a doubt, is going to go for us. A protocol up here. Getting the dashers down first most important uh, thing bracing is also important Tell you what, we need to get the dashers down. That should give us one extra free action. Ah, that could we can repost and kill this guy from there. Okay, so far that worked out well. Uh, this next turn we could uh, take more Overwatch kills. in which case I think you need to die as well just getting the dashers down reload and kill this guy good so one down Uh, we'll save the... No, we, we won't save the boomer. That guy needs to die now, even if that means more lost. Well, how about that? All right, end of turn. The priest is still holding his ground here. Yeah, please, summon more of them. Such a good idea. Brilliant.
Good. Very good. Uh, listen, these guys keep on coming. Like a never ending swarm. Hostile neutralized. One down, thousands to go. Could we know that the stupid chameleon? Is somewhere here. But we don't know where exactly. Let's move already. So might as well be a bit careful. Hit the Mac. And we're continuing to get the lost stone. Impressed yet? Good Overwatch. Back on one Overwatch. Not sure if blinding protocol really works against them. We might be able to test it. I think it did nothing. Moving to Overwatch. Good, the mech is almost down. That stupid chameleon is still on the hunt. But luckily the losses are equally good targets. Unfortunately the chameleon always kind of revanishes. Well, at least it takes some damage now. I think the priest will go down. <laughs> I'm not sure if he can handle that many lost. Okay, these losts definitely have a lot of hit points. Too many for my taste. Oh wow. Sona finally moves up and reloads. Reload first. Kill that dasher a second. Reload into. Hopefully a kill. Pretty good chances that it would be one. Very nice. As long as it was not minimum damage, we're good. This could be another kill, and even if it is not... 
we do have our front line down there. All right, moves to here. Not a lot of attack uh, areas possible from there. Good. And the DM might be able to parry most of them. The priest, on the other hand, will now be overrun. The chameleon might be the only thing that is left. <sighs> That's such a stupid mechanic. As long as you have one chameleon left over. Like, these guys keep on coming. And I really have to wonder why. Where are they coming from? How is Advent sending so many enemies in? Good, the priest is finally in stasis. Yeah, sustenance, there you go. Wow, not gnarly hit. Listen, we need to deal with these stupid infectors first. And part of it is whether I like it or not, we need to shred them. That's a hundred percent kill. Target neutralized. Green to go. Reload into Lost Dasher, please. Oh, there is even one Lost Dasher there. Well, I can tell you we need to take that shot in order to reset. Ten hit points are rough, man. Reload into a very fresh uh, straight up your face kill. So that should reset into. Four to six, 40%, 25. Uh, the melee attack's actually better. Funnily enough, Finally. the EDM moves there. And we got one more kill. End of turn. Priest is on his last leg. He's almost down. I can't believe that this is still going. Priest should die now. Yeah, okay, done.
Chameleon, that's what a chameleon always does. Weasels away. Good, we got a lot of losts down. There's one more chameleon somewhere. And I'm trying to find the where. Chameleon. And an entire loss swarm. Well, there we go. Of course, together with more lost boomers. Good, moving in. Let's see, where are we going to position? I think over here. Can't hit that guy. Oh, so annoying. Ninety six percent chance missed. Too bad. Okay, lost Stasher hit but not killed and this time we're doing the suppression with all of the nice little overwatches. Good, one additional aid protocol just to make us less of a target in case uh, the chameleon ever thinks of go coming here. Preparing all of the lost dashers. down, two down, three down, four down, and I think that's end of our magazine. Oh boy, this could have been the mother of all overwatches. Ok, 
careful I've seen a boomer yep right there good hit into I think that's the boomer yep Please, no more lost swarms. I think we're sufficiently swarmed. Five hit points, yep, that's a kill. And let's get the dasher. Good. Softening them up, plus we get an overwatch automatically. Oh, yeah. This guy here, th I think, is a graphical glitch. He's already dead. Okay. Fair enough. Good. Well, Ready to go. we certainly had a really good turn. Not good. So much extra damage. Where's this guy going? Something is inherently wrong here. Still no idea where that stupid chameleon is. And good chance for a kill. Fantastic. Chameleon might be right here. No, it was just a pile of corpses. Solid hit. Still no chameleon. Okay, we're almost through. I think two more losts. Oh, really? Another lost swarm. Where where are they even coming from? Who's spawning them at this point? No explosion is triggered. Oh, boy. It feels like somehow every single mission that we're doing is some sort of test of endurance. There wasn't a single normal mission lately. 
everything I won was either kill hordes or get overrun. But yeah, what am I, what am I expecting with those mod settings that we have chosen, right? Good, moving slightly back, and we can see that beast, nice, finally disappearing, maybe hopefully coming a bit closer. Alright, Overwatch it is. I need between the eye, but I think the no lost headshots mod has patched that out. Haven't had it since. But one shot kills against the losts at least would be an improvement to the situation here. It very much feels like this here is an anchor that is dragging us down. Losses continue to come. Oh yeah, let's kill this guy. Fabulous. And I really don't think our damage is the problem. Although it takes a while, but still, all things considered, we're killing almost all of them with the use of our abilities, like clever use of the abilities. We're actually doing reasonably well. Finally, that felt good. Let's do this. Finally, I'm on it. Got it covered. Okay, almost there, almost. Why is this loss here going in the exact opposite direction yet again? Don't tell me there is another chameleon. Let's get all of these guys down. Did you see that one? Tired of waiting around. You can't handle me. Very good. DM moves up, uh, misses to kill him. That's unfortunate, but we can at least move a little bit closer. 
Okay, three more enemies. Reload. Done. Is this the end of the mission, finally? Let's test our theory. Alright, there is one loner somewhere. Let me search that, because this is getting ridiculous. I'll do that off screen. Alright, let's not talk about it. Shall we be... Last remaining lost fell through the uh, world and after spending quite a bit of time to try to search it I needed to actually use console commands in order to unbug uh, this mission otherwise it would have simply not stopped which uh, definitely sucks anyways not proud of it but what am I supposed to do we uh, fought and killed 168 enemies that is crazy to think about. I mean, yes, most of them were lost, but wow. Also so many chrysalids, swarms, lost, hardcore normal enemies, and all of that in the middle of trying to recover some data. I mean, that was another pretty grindy mission. I think we got a promotion or two. Oh yeah, nice. So, Sonar, Richter, we're definitely going for rapid deployment. It is too good to not take that. 12 points, could go for heat grenades later. That's a really good ability as well. Elliot Sane, what are we going to do with you? He always has been uh, like one one of the rather fight and overwatch uh, based characters so that's interesting can now finally get uh, covering fire together with sentinel that's actually not too bad cool under pressure is cool is good as well um, I like this one here Low profile isn't bad either. I think we wanted to like play him more as a combat medic. And so far it works quite well. So say if we go for low cover and then we're going for covering fire, which isn't bad. Like covering fire plus sentinel together are already a pretty fearsome combination. I think that's good. I like it. BDM with a total melee focus build, could get blast padding on top of it, use this movement action, points to hunker down. That's not bad either, but I think blast padding overall is a bit better. I think reflexes would be nice as well. Yeah, untouchable, definitely helpful. Unbreakable, unfortunately, is 20 uh, points. I'm wondering if we should wait for that. Just wait until he's a colonel and then give him unbreakable. The Vanguard build worked out reasonably well. I, it plays very, very different than the Stormtrooper. But... Going in, being able to kill something with uh, with your melee weapon and then effectively either chain kill and move out or, or uh, continue to shoot with your gun. That's actually a pretty strong ability. 
this Relentless in particular is really good. Yeah, I think we're going with Blast Padding. The continuous plus one uh, hit points are going to be very helpful. Repeater, laser sight, and yeah, we killed 137 losts. Oh, <laughs> Holy, that was a long mission. Good, it's the one time where we don't really need Alarium or Alien Alloys. Although both of them can be sold nicely as the profit at the black market, so might as well take it because it only takes four days and it's actually worth quite a good amount of money. Good, in terms of just pure amount of characters. We got one, two, three assaults. Could use a fourth one. Couple of uh, field medics, that's good. One, two, three, four marines, that's good as well. Marksmen, one, two, three. Uh, that John Vega is not really a a great marksman at corporal level. So yeah, assault and marksman could bo use both. Could also use another zapper. And I think in terms of tech specialists, yeah, we are good. Okay, well, next one in this case would be a zapper. And Shinrod uh, joined the roster. I like it. Adrenaline Rush. That's good. Adrenaline Rush plus Emergency Aid, by the way. <laughs> Allows you to use your med kit every single round. I like that advanced trauma kit, that's good. So we're going to make him a normal healer. Fabulous. Shinrod, good job. Welcome on board. I appreciate the new lab facility. Alright, we have insufficient power, but that should not deter us, because that's easily fixable. One, and we put another one over here. Let's upgrade, thank you. And not only are we now finally faster in researching, I'm also expecting that we get substantially more breakthroughs. We got all of the upgrades here. Infirmary doesn't need an upgrade. Got all of the upgrades in the GTS. All right, let's go, baby. I think you will find our results have exceeded expectation. PCS Hive Warrior Tech. That's what I was hoping for. And see the first research he immediately comes unfortunately it is for the for the worst weapon of all but i mean beggars can't be choosers so we're going to take it hawkbite gets plus one damage on his feared auto gun Mwah. okay well that's the the game is trolling us at this point but i'm taking every breakthrough that i can Um, how many? Yeah, just one core. PCS, Hive Drone, Tag. We'll get started right away, Commander. I'll send word when the project is complete. 
And PC as Hive Warrior. It's potentially the advanced PCS. And that might be pretty good. If we get more Hive Warrior corpses, that is. Strategic resource located. More into. Avenger spawning new port. Market is open. Okay, before we do anything, can we improve another bond? No, we can't. Market is open. But yeah, I mean, just for reference, this here will definitely get us a, a lot of um, credits. Okay, we shouldn't sell too much. But yeah, given that we do not really need a lot of uh, the alien alloys or the larium crystals for that matter, we actually should be fine. Okay. Keep the sectored corpses for later use. And we're rich. Still nothing of value for us. Getting some more intel. Three days is a steal. So many have suffered for your efforts. Even those you would consider innocent. When will it end, Commander? Our friends in the resistance are paying a heavy price with the children Good. running loose. We should do what we can oh yeah, resistance context. Well, the game is actually helping us quite a bit. That's not bad. Um, listen, I just want to double check. Three mobility, sixteen dodge. Yeah, that is not not bad at all. The alternative of conditioning for extra hit points, uh, it's difficult. I mean, we could give him a vest and uh, then he should be fine. The dodge and the mobility actually would make a good case for keeping it. Yeah, but we also need to increase hit points one way or the other. Avenger plotting new course. The current level is not fully maintainable. 14 points of damage from a sector pot is kind of uh, the name of the game. <sighs> and that will, that's just getting better and better. So, Operation Star Hand. Feral Hive, a small feral chrysalid group has broken away from Advent, is located in this area. Well, that means we're definitely going to fight against a juvenile queen again. And that won't be good at all. Supply drop is coming in soon, doesn't really change much. They sort of prevented our radio relay here, which I do not really appreciate. So I wonder if we're just making contact here and continuing from there. We don't need the radio relay if we go via Europe. Tactical an analysis is definitely a good uh, option. Like that could help us a lot. This here is pointless. We don't need bomb squad. But yeah, I also don't want to spend 10 days just to build a radio relay. I'll figure it out until the next time. 
for now i think that's the end of today's episode thanks for watching i uh, appreciate that and uh, if you do have any comments around the 168 uh, enemies that we were massacring let me know uh, and uh, let's use a sonic lure to throw it right at the like button so that the losses are clicking it continuously take care and have a good one bye bye